Okay. Now, Layton just pointed out I wasn't recording, and that's fine because all of you can handle the first one. Here is where this becomes not difficult but important. If there was no three there, what would you do? You'd distribute the X into the next term, yes? If there was no X there, what would you do? Distribute the three into the term. So you, of course, would end up with X times X plus two times X plus three times X plus three three times two, yes? And you would get x squared plus two x plus three x plus six. And then what would you do with the three x and the two x? Combine them to get x squared plus five x plus six, right? Now, algebraically is what I just showed you because I didn't want to draw it. And I'm not going to, because I don't care. <laughs> but there is something I want to show you here. Because a great many of you last year were shown this. You're fine with it. There's something that I like to do that I find makes this a little bit easier. If you don't want to do it, don't listen to me. X plus 2, X plus 3. And this is the simplest method here. What I'd like to do is I started with one of them and I distributed it. X squared plus 3X. Now I'm done with that first term. Then I go to this term and I distribute it. Oh, 2 times X, 2X. So I start a new line and I put the X's together. And then plus 2 times 3, which is 6. And then I can just add up my like terms then you don't have to keep them you don't have to keep them in your head now the reason i show you this because right now you guys can all do this in your head but if i gave you this polynomial To draw that in a long horizontal line is a pain. So what I do by stacking it this way, it just allows your work to keep tidier. If you don't want to do it, don't, but I recommend it. We'll come back to that in a minute. What I just showed you is something math teachers love because you get to do this acronym, FOIL. I don't like acronyms because they stink like shortcuts and I hate shortcuts because learning a shortcut before you learn what to do makes you learn a shortcut, not what to do. And if we change the way it looks, all of a sudden I can't do it anymore, which is why I made you do all that stuff beforehand. First, outside, inside, last and everybody uses foil but really all it is is the distributive property from each term So let's come up to this guy and let's actually multiply this guy through. If we were doing FOIL, there'd only be two. First, outside, inside, last. But we're not. We're going to deal with this guy first. So we're going to deal with all of them. X to the what? Fourth. Then I'm going to draw another line. X to the what? Cubed. Why is it cubed? Right, and then I'm going to draw a third line all the way out to there and get what? Now I got to do this one. Is it a new term? So I'm going to do a new line. It's got to distribute to everybody. I'm done with the blue line. 
We'll do a black one. What's that one? 7x cubed. Yep. Oh, I've got an x cubed. I'm going to put my x cubes together. What's that one? Uh, 21x squared. 21x squared. Mm -hmm. I've got an x squared. I'll keep my squareds together. What's that one? 14x. 14x. I got no other x's, so it's there. <laughs> now I got this guy. The green ones. What's that? And what do I do with all of it? My like terms are already set up for me. Right? And now, x to the fourth plus no more x to the fourths. Negative three plus seven. Two minus 21 plus four. Is everybody good? Would it matter if I then took this gross polynomial and told you to multiply it by this polynomial? Of course, I would, would I ever do that to you? No, because that's useless, isn't it? Right? The only reason I would give that to you is to make you trip up and make a little mistake so I go, ha, 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 you didn't pay attention. And do I do that? I try to avoid it. If I do ever do that, it's because you did something silly like did 7 minus minus 3 and told me it was 4. Right? Oh, pay attention. They'd be like, oh, oh. But I wouldn't do that. But could I? It would just be gigantic. That's why I like to teach the stacking thing. Byron. <laughs> Anytime there's a variable, polynomial, the variables square and stuff. You guys haven't done physics yet, right? But when you do physics... Wait, yeah. When you do physics, you're going to come across lots of... It's not polynomials that you're going to use. It's the principles associated with moving them around that you're going to use, depending on where you go in life. And once again, it always comes back to you don't know where you're going to go in life. So I'm not going to worry about that. Skip everything that's draw a picture. And practice up to 109. Now listen to me. There are various shortcuts to doing these. If you can pick up on that shortcut, by all means use it. But I'm not going to show it to you. Because if I show it to you, you're going to screw up the ones that don't work because they look like they should work. Got me? Yeah. So I'm giving you the rest of the period, which is 30 something minutes, because I still don't know when the day ends at our school. <laughs> okay. 237? 27. Sorry, man. Man. No problem, sister. I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, sorry, sir. No, that's not what I was. That's not where I was going with it. Um, no, no, no. Just I'm getting to it, Sarah. Skip everything with draw a picture. Okay. And I know it says assignment. That's just because I'm too lazy to erase it. Because it's a pain. Okay. I am not going, I, I'm not marking you on your ability to multiply. 
All right? But you will notice there's a crap ton of practice here. The reason for that is because for your benefit, the quicker you can see this answer, the better off you'll be next year, grade 12, and in university, right? Do, does your university prof know you could multiply that out? Yes, but your university prof is going to simplify that in the time it takes for me to say the words, simplify this, because he's practiced it that long, okay? This answer is x squared plus 3x minus 4. And I'm not doing it to show off. I'm just saying the more you practice, you get to there, you're going to be better off because you're not going to be wasting time simplifying that when it's only the first step of 50. You understand what I'm saying? That's why there's so much practice here. And the reason I, they do say assignments is because I often need to convince kids to do the work to actually get good at this. But you guys are usually more than willing to do enough practice to get good at something. So do up to 112, or I lie, 109 for you people. Do up to and including 109. And I want to see something on paper for both of those projects. I attach rubrics to them right on there, right? If you, don't, if you need those sheets, tell me and I will get them for you right now. If you have them and you've scribbled all over them and you need a fresh one, tell me and I'll get them for you right meow. All right? How many copies do I need? Give me yours, Leighton. Just give me yours. I'll have a photocopy. It's easier. All right. Now, once again, please, when you look at this, recognize that if you want fours on that rubric, it says understanding of mathematical concepts. Is one plus one a concept or a fact? It's a fact. Okay. I'll be our B. A, B. A, fact? No, no, no. B. A, B. Anybody have any possible <laughs> possible chance of bringing any party supplies like yes, chips, pop, I can bring cookies. cookies? I don't know. Cookies store. Pop. We're not going to be here. I know we have Link Carnival. Okay, guys, we don't need much, but we need enough to prove Myers that we can do this. Okay. I'll bring it. So when do we bring so this stuff? Tomorrow. Like tomorrow. At, yeah. Tomorrow. I'm not gonna be well, I'm just, yeah. Huh? Pop? Got it. We need all the pop we can get. Maybe you can bring that main carnival. Wait, Evelyn, are you in Link? Okay. Who else isn't in Link that can bring anything? Donuts? Got it. Like, even streamers or a jack o' lantern, anything. Got it, perfect. Byron, okay. Perfect, great, perfect. Can you bring anything to mind? Huh? Got him? Yeah, perfect. 
My mom makes a vegan butter chicken, but she's not busy. I could have ordered it, so I'm not going to eat it. She made it last time. How much do you like? How much do you like? Layton's. Now, guys, I didn't realize Layton had already given you a little start to his plan down here. So no plagiarizing, Layton. All right. Then maybe he'll share some of his trove of gummy bears with you that he has claimed for himself. Who else needs one? Layton. Yeah. You should have eaten any of them and then just come on the last day of the semester with this video. Good idea. I should do that. Anybody else? Everybody else? Has one? Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please remember there you are not to get trapped into right and wrong on these project sheets when I give them out to you, yes? Because if you'll notice, how do you get the four all the way down on both rubrics? What's it say? What's the first thing it says for four? Explanation of concepts, yes? Right? Understand what you are using to prove your point. All right? Don't get caught up in black and white, yes, no, zero, one, right? Binary choices. It's not about that. Okay? That's why the questions are written that way. Okay? So you have to think about it. You can't just say, the round one, and hope for the best. Okay? You can't just say on the back, yes, and walk away. Okay? Or, no, that's impossible, and walk away. Okay? So make sure you have a look at it and actually think about it. Yes? What if your understanding is just completely and totally wrong? Well, I mean, if you're going to say you uh, have, you know, I, I've done some reading on the multiverse theory, Mr. Myers, and 75 universes away from here, this is perfect. Yes, I would have to, I suppose, sit down with you and maybe we'd go over to the TOK class and discuss it over there. 
but we are going to assume on we are in our universe. Okay? And again, convince me this is your chance on these papers to play all the lawyer ball you guys want. Go crazy. Okay? Go crazy. All right? Well, technically, I could live in a shoebox. Okay. Right? I mean, just... Yeah. We've, uh, we've all seen... He lived in a shoebox down by the river. Yeah. Um, <laughs> get full marks if you can clean this desk too. Wait, well, it, it's yeah. it's only a coffee it's cup. Just, oh, that it's was tea. Relative, relative, that was tea. Relatively cleaner today. Yeah. It, it's tea, but it was loose. It's loose leaf tea, so it gets yeah. through the strainer and dries Some on. It's also coming out of the fridge. <laughs> you have four different drinking things on your desk. This is Mr. Close's, and it's clean. Okay, so it's not Mr. Close's, it's his kids. He left it at my house, and it keeps going through my dishwasher and going back into the drain rack. And my wife finally said, take that to Peter. Oh, what? Um, I found two I will take, well, no repeats. Hold on, but I found like, Tweety Bird? I think there's a Tweety and a Sylvester. Yeah, and then there's a guy with a red beard. There's a Yosemite Sam one? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like the Mark and Liar show. I was Yosemite Sam for Halloween one year. That was a good year. Yeah, what? Um, so if you had an answer to that, like 4x4 minus 16, would you um, reduce it with like 4? One oh nine. Yes.
like a science fiction thing. Yeah. It's just a thousand meters by a thousand meters goes 50 million feet in the air and it's got everything yeah. in one stack. Yeah. Now what's the what's the problem with that? Though? Well, you can only go so high. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what more? How? What else are you gonna do? With that? Why? Why is that not okay? Or why is it? What? I shouldn't say that. What about that makes it different? Because if that's the case, why aren't we doing that? Huge building project. What's 
Yeah, I was like, yeah. 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 Yeah, I was like,